Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Natchi, coming at you with a little 10th anniversary action. We are on the Valley Map, and this is, of course, War Robots. And, uh, guys, 10 years, can you believe it? Just a little bit from now, we're going to have the 10th anniversary show going off. And I intend to be watching it, so hopefully you guys can uh, join us and uh, watch uh, the, the festivities ensue from there. It'll be, it should be really entertaining. Hey, before we get too far into the game here, guys, are you looking to support my channel? Hey, down in the description of this video, there is a personalized link that'll take you over to the War Robot Store. At the War Robot Store, you can get DGEMs and all different sorts of uh, resources that are available in the game. Use the author's code, which is also listed down in the description here, and that will support my channel. So get yourself over there and check it out. Now back to the game. I can't, I really can't wait to see what actually goes on there. Uh, but kicking off the festivities today, let's uh, go ahead and make this a little interactive for you guys. Uh, down in the comments, I want you guys to put the, you know, how many years you've been playing and what was the meta bot that was kicking butt all over the battlefield the year that you started. So I'm going to start it off here. I've been playing, I'd say 9.999 years. And uh, when I started, we're looking at the Thunder and, uh, you know, Thunder and Tehran equipped BOA. And that was, <laughs> that was beastie. Uh, of course, we had the Thunder and, of course, uh, the Orkin equipped one as well, which was kind of the original death button build. And followed shortly there up after it was the Griffin with the Orkins and Panadas, which was the true death button. But that was back in the day when I started. And I can't believe 10 years, guys. That has been a long time, and it has defined, I mean, seriously defined, the uh, my experience here playing this game it has been just it's been just crazy uh, i can't believe i've been here that long um but this game has held me fast held my fascination held my interest for that long and that is saying quite a bit i mean congratulations Pixonic. you did create a really potent game that has held a lot of attention uh, on mobile gaming for a very long time and did a lot of firsts i mean I mean, at one point, this was one of the top several mobile games, like top grossing, top performing, uh, you name it. It was it was right on up there, and it's still t to this day a very solid game. And there are a lot of people who still play this game. All right, let's go ahead and keep working this right here. Oh man, ten years! Oh <laughs> boy, have has things. I, I've seen so many things come and go in my experience here. I started out playing this game. Okay, let's go ahead and change it. You can't brawl the path very well. I started out playing this game as a player. Joined, got uh, into a clan, almost by accident, actually. And that was Iron Fist slash Rule. And that was uh, led up by Stanger. And we had a lot of really, really interesting characters. And a lot of them that actually ended up going over to like Iron Smiles and some of the bigger clans back in the day. Uh, started in Iron Fist. And it was just it was just an absolutely wild, wild time there. And it wasn't too long after that that I got into content creating. Just, you know, I thought it'd be fun. So I started, and I wasn't very good at it, but I was uh, putting face cam to video. And I was, you know, I was kind of, you know, kind of a first, kind of a unique thing for this game back then. And I got, uh, I got drafted. I got recruited by Adrian and Chong to join the uh, content creators. And it wasn't a content creator program back then. We were just content creators that were recruited and associated with, uh, back then, Walking War Robots. And it was it was just a wild time, right? Just really, really cool bunch of folks there. I mean, Adrian, talking stupendous. We're talking so many interesting characters from the past that, that have come and gone that were around at the time. I mean, just really cool. It was part of a bunch of unofficial groups like the, uh, the WR Renegades. We did some great videos. Uh, eventually, we formed up what was kind of more of the content creator program. It was doing big, big giveaways with Manny Gaming and Adrian Chong. It was us, it was us the big three, that were making those big, big giveaways. Oh, there was a nice assist. That should have been a kill. But definitely, it was just a complete wild ride. And of course, you know, after so many years of doing it, uh, I've taken several breaks from the game. As so many, we got frustrated with the game over, you know, the elements since, uh, you know, about the time that the dash bots came out, things got really, really interesting as far as the business model went for this game. And it was a bit frustrating. So a lot of people have come and gone because of that. And, you know, I have settled back into this game and 
10 years in, I'm still here. I've got a, a good lease on the game as far as my viewpoints go. And, you know, I don't see this, uh, this game, I'm, I don't see myself dropping this game until this game is done. Because I'm having an absolute ball playing it. So let's go ahead and keep going here. Now down in the comments too, if you guys want to put down some of your favorite memories, that'd be great as well. I'd love to hear some of your favorite memories over the last 10 years. And of course, let's keep it friendly. I, I, I've been having such an issue when people come in and, whoa, we got too many Titans here, we got to back out of here. Too many people posting some really not so friendly comments lately. So I want to keep this, this got to keep this light and lively, guys. So uh, if you feel the urge to say something snarky, you do it somewhere else. <laughs> I just I just don't need that today. It is a festive day. Uh, no criticisms about the game. No nothing. We're not doing that today. We're just enjoying the fact that we're playing a ten year old game, and we're playing with people from around the world, and it is just it's actually it's just phenomenal. It's phenomenal that we've had a game last this long. It really really is. Okay, so I think, yeah, we go. Oh, there's a chunk of something just went blowing right by there. And you see, that's something else that's really cool about this game. Is, you know, it's not just boom, they're gone, or, you know, it's, it, there's some wild graphics that have, you know, even from the very beginning, I blew up a, I remember I blew up a Leo once, and it blew straight up into the air. It was the kind of graphics, it was kind of that unique, groundbreaking type action that just made this game super entertaining. And we're still seeing that from time to time. We get uh, critical hits and bots go blowing to pieces, especially Titans are right there. They just seem to, like there, there is a chunk of a Titan right there. But definitely, it's just, it's just wild. And we've gone through many versions, went from Walking War Robots to War Robots, War Robots Remastered. Uh, you know, this is expanded out. There was, uh, you know, War, there is War Robots Frontiers out there, which um, I'm personally not going to get into because I, I don't play PC games, and it is a PC game. There's a nice godlike right there. Um, I think that's going to be it, guys. I think we'll do one more match for you guys. But uh, you know what? Ten years, Pixonic. Been a wild ride. Hopefully, we can keep this going for another ten. And we got our ten kills. Sweet. 11.6 million, ten kills, seven assists, and four beacon caps. One more for good measure. And then I'm going to get ready to watch the live show. All right, guys, here we go. Carry your map. Absolutely. This will go really good for the Shen Lu. Let's go ahead and let's do a little bit of ambush attack. Let's tear a few things up. And uh, let's, shoot, let's shoot for again. Let's see if we can get 10 kills. 10 more kills for the 10 years that Pixonic has been around. And we're not going to get 10 beacons, that's for sure. We missed that beacon right there. So let's go ahead and take it down to the trenches here and uh, run through. And keep moving there. Now, Oh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I tried my darndest to get uh, the new pilot for the uh, the Ultimate Edition Destrier. Just was not able to get the cliff pilot. Came in just short on the leader boys. I had I came in and I got to first position three hours before the event for the uh, leaderboard closed. There's a nice kill. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And it, someone just at the last minute, I checked and they just tripled my score. Somebody came in, must have bought a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars worth of data pads, or you know, they must have bought a boatload of them, uh, just a ton of them, and just nuked me right out of the water. So I did not get the pilot for the ultimate destroyer. So gonna hope that it pops up at some other point in time. Still gonna run the ultimate destroyer every now and then, but I was a little bit miffed about that. All right, let's. Go ahead and help in on this right here. Now, I am looking forward to the uh, next update, guys. I'm really looking forward to this mini luchador that's coming down the pipe. A double jump. It's going to be like a Raven's double jump. It's got luchador-like ability. Uh, I've already got my weapons picked up for it because it's too light and a heavy weapon. So I've already got my ultimate glory and two ultimate halos. My, I'll take the halos off my, uh, my Ocho, and I will then... Right, we got to find the target. And then took the glory, because I, I removed my glory in lieu of the uh, Ultimate Avenger on my uh, Ultimate Fenrir. So that will be an interesting, interesting combo. Here's a Bianca. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just, we're just going to toast. We're just going to roast and toast on this guy. We're going to zap him. Come on, come on, come on. So close, so close. Oh, only an assist. Come on. I was, I was pounding on him there for a good, you know, 30 seconds. Oh, look at these guys. They don't even know I'm here. Oh. Yeah, they don't know I'm here. I thought for sure they'd see me go. God, I'm living legend. 
Let's get him again. Living Legend. Nice and within time frame. So I made it before I uh, teleported back to my base of operation, my base anchor point. Okay, so I just gotta wait three, two more seconds and I can teleport in on these guys again. Let's uh, go ahead and tear these guys up. Alright, I'm gonna get 10 kills. I'm gonna give it my darndest. 10 kills with one bot, that would be amazing. That would be a heck of a good uh, tribute for the you know, 10th anniversary. Oh gosh, that should have been a kill, but I'll take the assist. Let's teleport in. Oh yeah, let's give this guy, there's a kill, nice. And chunks and rings flying all over the place, and that's it. We just stormed the castle. <laughs> or I should say, we took the ship. That's what I should be saying. Yeah, there we go. Nine kills, just one. Sure, if that one assist had been a kill, we'd had 10 kills. 2.8 million. That was just an absolute pounder. Alrighty, guys, uh, time to bail out of here. Uh, time to get ready for the live show. Hope you guys uh, come over there and watch. I'll be hopefully posting some comments uh, on the uh, on the chat as it's going. So we'll see what they do for us. I, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Alrighty, guys, time to bail. Hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. Alrighty, guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield.